In just a few days, you can get back to celebrating by participating in this year's Kids Share event in person for the first time in two years. And it's all for a very good cause for families in our area. To talk about this event, I'm joined by the Jewish Community Center CEO, Mark Shapiro, and the editor-in-chief of the Milwaukee Business Journal, Mark Cass. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this afternoon. Mr. Shapiro, I'll start with you. I saw it online when you guys had that amazing event. Great production. Can you tell us about the event and what programs at the Jewish Community Center this is going to be benefiting? Yeah, of course. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. We are really excited to be back um, through our amazing sponsors like Built Right and the Marcus Corporation, the Milwaukee Admirals, um, Total Cleaning Systems. We are back in person and thrilled to be raising dollars to help community uh, children in our programs. We're gonna be supporting our Rainbow Day Camp, our special needs programs, um, our early childhood education programs, all of the amazing programs that our JCC does. And uh, thanks for having been on last year to see our little uh, nightclub or our uh, nighttime show. Right. Uh, but I gotta tell you, there's nothing like being out with everybody. Um, we are thrilled that our restaurants that have been supporting this program for more than 20 years, they answered the call and they're coming back. Some of the best restaurants in Milwaukee, um, even with staffing shortages, even with challenges, they said yes. And so when you think about it, this is community coming together to build community. Exactly. And Mr. Cass, why did you and your wife Kay decide to get involved with this event? Really because it's about the J and, it's, and for us, it's been a lifelong thing for my family. I grew up there. I mean, I was involved in sports there. I learned a lot of things there, but really more importantly, I've seen the impact it's had on, on kids throughout this community. Some kids who've never had the opportunity to go to a camp, who've never had the opportunity to be at these fun experiences, to have a meal, to do the things that really that are done by the J that's so important in our community. You know, we all think we have great lives and things go well, but then we have to realize there are others who need help. And the J just does a, a tremendous effort at that. And for us, it's about really trying to help the community, trying to make sure everyone in our community has an opportunity to be part of camp, to be in an experience that makes their life so much better. Nothing but smiles on these children's faces. Mr. Shapiro, can you give us an example or two of how the funds raised really helped a lot of events that were critical to the programs at JCC? Of course. So one of the programs that we're really proud of is that we do a program called Road to Rainbow. For a long time, we've been running uh, the Albert Landesher JCC Rainbow Day Camp up in Fredonia, Wisconsin. And uh, just pre-COVID, we were proud to have partnered with organizations all throughout the city. So we had close to 450 uh, kids who were able to get a one-week camping experience uh, through their partnerships. Maybe it was at the Boys and Girls Club or the United Community Center, a number of different organizations, the Hmong Peace Academy. Um, and we, through these fundraising efforts, were able to get kids who like Mark said, would never have the chance to come and spend a week um, out in a pond, finding frogs, uh, actually going into our gardens and helping to pull the food from our gardens to ensure that we could put fresh produce on the shelves of the Jewish Community Food Pantry, which we operate every Thursday at the corner of 29th and Center. So what we do is really woven together as a web, and then whether it's families who wouldn't be able to afford early childhood education, so we're able to scholarship them, to the organizations that we partner with to give these amazing summer experiences. The impact of every dollar raised at kid share goes to a kid. It goes to get those smiles on their faces like you just saw in those pictures. And Mark Cass, you attend a lot of community events. You're part of the fabric of our community. So, you know, you can really check the pulse on how yeah. businesses are doing, the community is doing based on how people are giving back. Are you seeing events like these raising more money and more people getting into these nonprofits again and in our community? Really, they are. I mean, I think everyone's anxious to get back, Julia. I mean, I go to a lot of events. I'm going to three over the next three or four days. I mean, there are just a lot of them right now. They're important to our community. For a couple of years, we weren't able to help these groups. And really, a lot of them had problems. A lot of them had struggles. Now, you know, but I'm seeing people that are there and people are generous. They're anxious to be out. They're anxious to hang out with each other. They're anxious to have cool auction items. But really, more importantly, they're anxious to help our community. I've always been impressed, Julia, with the amount of money that's raised in this community by a lot of hardworking people who want to help others. So yeah, I mean, it's back and it's, and I think there's a lot of activity and a lot of energy, which is great to see. Ditto, so great, so great to hear that. Mark Shapiro and Mark Cass, thank you so much for joining us on Live at Four. This is such an important event to recap. Just in case you would like to go, everybody, Kids Share 2022 is happening on Thursday at the Fister Hotel. The event will start at six. Dinner will be served at 7.15 with a live auction and program at 8.15.
At 8.45, there will be a kids share dessert and community extravaganza at the Fister Imperial Ballroom. Head to TMJ4.com to learn more.